Die casting is the process that involves melting non-ferrous metal alloys and forcing them into the mold cavity under high pressure and at high speed to rapidly manufacture complex metal parts. There are two types of die casting processes, hot chamber and cold chamber die casting. However, choosing which process depends on the physical and mechanical properties of the materials used for die casting process. Let me explain you with more details about two die casting processes. First, hot chamber die casting. The process involves melting the metal and injecting it into the die using pressure from a hydraulic system. It is the perfect method for working with low melting point materials such as zinc, tin, lead, and magnesium alloys. But it is not suitable for alloys with the higher melting points as they would result in damage to the gooseneck, nozzle, and other components. While cold chamber die casting involves ladling the melted material from the furnace into a cold chamber through a pouring hole. What's more, cold chamber machine works with horizontal position and don't include a gooseneck. So it is the perfect method for working with high melting point materials such as aluminum because it's almost possible that the process will damage machine parts. Now let's talk about some of the most important advantages of die casting. The die casting process exposes the tools to extreme thermal and mechanical pressure conditions. Therefore, the molds are made with high quality steel to withstand those situations. For example, molds for zinc die casting reach service lives of 500,000 to 2 million circles. As the mold of die casting is made with high quality steel and has an extended lifespan, they are capable of producing a huge amount of cards in a short time. It is possible to produce 100,000 pieces with a single piece of mold. As a result, the production cost reduces significantly. Another important advantage of die casting is that it can manufacture parts with smooth and textured surface. Typically, alloys with low melting points are used in the die casting process. Therefore, parts produced using die casting process are typically thinner walled and smoother surfaces. It also makes applying further surface finishing easier. However, the die casting process can be expensive for small scale production because the tooling cost of die casting is pretty high. Therefore, it won't be cost effective for small scale production. Die casting is a blessing to the manufacturing industry. It can deliver millions of parts and all the parts have the same design specifications. Besides, it reduces the cost of high volume production, which also has a greater impact on the product's price. Finally, we can say die casting is the win-win technology for both manufacturers and consumers. If you want to learn more or have any project in your mind, please get in touch with us. We are Rapid Direct, one of the world's leading die casting service providers. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more similar videos.